I made this graph in R using World Bank data that goes back to 1960. But first let me explain how I got this data. I wrote all the code out in a document and I got all the data from the World Bank. So this document has all my code. First I'm putting in the function to get the World Bank data. The function has values. It requires the RJSINO uh, program. Next step, I need to create a string of data um, from 1960 to the present. We have very good data from 1960 on. Next step is to add in the different data sets that I will be using. Life expectancy, uh, which I get from the World Bank data population, and GDP per capita. Now I have to merge the data sets. I'm going to merge them into a function called wbData, and I'm going to use the function merge. The first thing I'm going to merge is life expectancy and fertility rates, then I'm going to add in the population to life expectancy and fertility rates which I have called labeled WB data and finally I'll merge in the GDP per capita. Now I have to get country mappings from the World Bank. Add in the regional data so that we know which regions each of these countries are from and this includes their income values couple aggregates I need to filter out and the final step is going to be creating a motion chart. In a motion chart you label it a certain name, I'm going to give the label M and the function for this is gvismotionchart. Uh, you have subdata, which is country.name. idvar is the um, what the data is all going to be labeled. Time variant is going to be year, because in the initial data set it's called a year. Options uh, list, I'm going to give it a width of 700 and a height of 600 megapixels. And finally, I'm going to try plotting this. The plot comes out with the function that you saw before. And here you go. Each bubble is a country of the world, and the size of the bubble is the population of that country. Here we have China. It's large and blue. And we have East Asia countries all in blue. Make them pop out for you. We have uh, sub-Africa countries all in orange. And as you see on the left side of the graph, I have the fertility rates. We have uh, country countries with families size 1 on average up to size 8 on average we have a couple countries up here like Rwanda that has over 8.1 in uh, fertility rates per family bef at 1960 and then we have on the bottom axis the life expectancy in that country the largest it goes is about uh, 75 uh, Norway's up there with uh, 73.5 and uh, Sweden with 73 in 1960. I'm going to play this graph and you're going to be able to see how this uh, develops uh, from 1960 to the present. We've highlighted China here so that you can see the trail that it leaves as their population grows. China's life expectancy is growing at, just as their fertility rates are declining and that can be traced to early 1960s, around 1968 or 69, when they instituted their one-child policy. I'm going to play this again without leaving a trail um, and highlight all countries equally. This time we're going to relate GDP to fertility rates and see if fertility rates grow with GDP. I'm going to make uh, this access a log.
I'm going to make all the countries uh, uh, unique colors. As you see the rise of China and the rise of India, their GDP is growing from 1960 to present. As their fertility rates are declining, so you see there's an inverse relationship between fertility rates and uh, GDP. I'm going to change this to uh, population. You can watch the trade-off of population and GDP in these countries. You see they're pretty much all bouncing in place showing that their populations are relatively stable while their GDP has large fluctuations. Let's track the relationship between GDP and life expectancy. I would expect to see a uh, uh, life expectancy is generally between 45 and 80. I would expect that a larger GDP would be a um, longer life expectancy and you'll see this play out. Here we had a country falling. Bangladesh has been falling in uh, life expectancy. And over here we have Cambodia. Cambodia had a genocide happen in the late 1970s. As soon as that's over, it takes off. I think they had the end of communism. And then we see Rwanda shoot over to the left. That is a uh, genocide in their country. Life expectancy dropped um, to about 25 years.